Good morning, Sir Weasel. What is going on outside? What is going on? That's snow! It's actually gotten better. For a second there while I was getting ready for the day, there were huge flakes coming down. I think it's turning into rain now, thank God. So good morning, everybody, and it's a good morning. The Irving Big Stops here in the Maritimes of Canada, way out in the East Coast, are giving all essential workers, that's us, free coffee. Free coffee always makes it a good day. I'm just saying, that's just the one way to make sure you're gonna have a good day, free coffee. Right, Diesel? Exactly, exactly. So we have uh, 858 kilometers to go. That's about 530 miles or so, 525 miles, till we get to the ferry. When we get to the ferry, we gotta check in, get in line, and wait for the next available ferry to take us aboard. And then we go on the eight hour ferry ride across to Newfoundland, the island, way on the east coast of Canada. And once we're there, like I was telling you yesterday, it's only a two hour drive onto the island to Stephenville, or Stephenville? Stephenville, right? Stephenville, Newfoundland. We'll drop off our two pieces and our trailer will be empty and I'll most likely head back to the mainland empty to uh, probably pick something up here in northern New Brunswick but I don't know yet we'll see on Monday I'm guessing let's get going the snow has stopped it's turned into like a light drizzle of rain which is a lot better than snow I was so disappointed when I woke up this morning and I saw massive snowflakes hitting my truck. How dare you. How dare you. That flag is still at half staff there because of the, uh, uh, that, all those deaths that happened in Nova Scotia, the death of the RCMP officer, and, uh, yeah. A guy went crazy and killed a bunch of people and he killed an officer and then was shot dead by another officer. So he is where he belongs right now, six feet under, but at the same time, we lost a lot of innocent and a lot of good people. So that's why the flags are at half staff. And if you're wondering why I say staff, every time I say half staff, people say it's half mast. I'm sorry, I gotta correct you there. I used to say half mast too, but uh, that's actually incorrect. A mast is on a ship. A staff is on land. So if it's at half mast, that means the flag is at half mast on a ship. But if it's at half staff on land, it's at half staff. A staff and a mast is on a ship. Now, I'm a prairie boy, so what do I know? Correct me if I'm wrong again. Let's have a little argument in the comments section, why don't we? Is it half mast or is it half staff? Let me know. Here we go. Get ourselves back on the freeway because New Brunswick is lucky enough to have actual nice freeways. One day, one day in my dreams, Manitoba will have nice highways and freeways too. We have some pretty decent highways, but I mean, you know how I feel about that. They're, uh, they like their stoplights a little too much out there. Overpasses, man. Overpasses. Continue along this road for 204 kilometers. Quiet, Karen. Let me enjoy the start to my day. This is the best part of the day. Getting back on the highway. All right, Diesel? Best part of the day, man. <laughs> Too bad it's all rainy and stuff. It's a beautiful area of the country when it's sun shining. Can't believe it was snowing this morning. It's ridiculous. Let's not talk about that. It's gonna make me mad. Well, Eastern Canada, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, never disappoint with the scenery. This is a beautiful part of the country. We're just getting warmed up here, we're just getting started. We just barely got into New Brunswick yet last night, so. If you guys remember my videos from years ago, we used to come out here more often. It looks like I'll probably be out here more often again on these routes. Uh, I don't know how often, but, uh, well, more often than never. So, I'm excited to be back out here. The, the people out here are so friendly. And I know a lot of you actually live out here as well because every time I used to come to the Maritimes, 
uh, someone out here would uh, recognize me from YouTube and come over and say hi. So apparently a lot of you live out here in the Maritimes. In Canada, we refer to the Maritime provinces uh, as those are the eastern, eastern provinces of Canada. They're very small. They're also the smallest provinces. There's New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, and Newfoundland and Labrador. Uh, don't forget Labrador. Uh, I often do, and I'm sorry for the people in Labrador watching. Uh, they're actually not even connected by land. Uh, Labrador is actually connected to Quebec, but who could blame them? They wanted to be a part of Newfoundland instead. <laughs> I gotta stop taking shots at Quebec. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my Quebec viewers. Uh, I do love Quebec. I really do. It's just a friendly feud, I think. Sometimes it's not so friendly, but in my case, in my case, it's a friendly feud between Quebec and Western Canada, that's all. So, uh, a lot of moose out in the Maritimes here. And once we get onto the island of Newfoundland, there's more moose than people. So I don't like to drive at night on the island. It's a big night danger. So when you do come out here, make sure you are uh, aware of that and keep your eyes open. You see, they got the fences here along the roads. Uh, that's not just to keep me on the highway, that's to keep the moose off the highway. Look at that guy go, Chevy power. At least he chained it down properly. So often I see people hauling containers on flatbeds and they're just like tied down with three or four straps and that's it, no chains. Like for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, the things you see on the road, eh? But I'm really happy doing what I'm doing now. I've, I've missed this and uh, this truck is great. Uh, the, like I said yesterday, the only criticism I have of this truck is the transmission. I guess there's two criticisms. It's an automatic, so there's a criticism right there. But uh, it would be a lot better. It's a 10 speed, it would be a lot better if it was a 12 or 13 speed. Uh, bit of a big gap between the gears, but that's the only thing. I love this truck and I hope I'll be in it for a while, for a long time. That's a new truck stop. Huh. A lot of things have changed, but a lot of things have remained the same. So many good memories come flooding back as I roll through here. We just went past Moncton, New Brunswick, which means we're getting very close to the Nova Scotia border. And I'm pretty sure we got another police checkpoint to go through there. I think Nova Scotia is the only province of Canada that actually shut down their borders within Canada. Like nobody can cross the border except for, you know, yours truly and other essential people. But uh, it's not that big of a, a province, so you know, five hours and we'll be at the ferry. Maybe a little more than that, because once we hit uh, northern Nova Scotia up there, it turns back into two-lane highways. It does get a little more scenic, though. It feels good to be back here. The truck is just fantastic still. Have I said that yet? I think I've conveyed that message pretty thoroughly already. I'm going to say it one more time. I love this Peterbilt. I had no idea what I was missing out on. I had no idea. I was in that Volvo, I think, what, for three years now. And, uh, wow. Loving every second of this. Such a smooth ride. So, uh, Nova Scotia is the easternmost uh, province on the mainland of Canada. These tracks look pretty rough. But uh, Nova, uh, Newfoundland, Labrador are the, the easternmost province. You know, when you're in St. John's, Newfoundland, on the very, very east coast of Canada, you are halfway between Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and London, England. Very close to it, anyways. I mean, not exact, but look at it on a map. If I were to have left on this trip from Vancouver, gone all the way to St. John's, I would have driven halfway to England. That's just one country. <laughs> Canada's a big place. It's a very big place, and I love it. It's a big empty place, and I love it. I love it like that, because there's so much nature all around here, you know? Everything is untouched, natural. It's a good place. It's home. You guys remember this, this site? And this bridge here? It changed it a little bit. Oh, there's a railway going over there. That wasn't there last time, was there? 
right in this narrow spot. Oh, that was narrow. Woo. This is Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. At the roundabout, take the second exit in 500 meters and then keep to the left in 100 meters. Alrighty. So we have about another hour and a half, two hours to the ferry. Well, we're just coming into North Sydney, Nova Scotia. This is where we meet the ferry. I believe one ferry just left about a half hour ago. And the next one leaves tomorrow, uh, quarter to noon. So they'll probably start boarding us, probably like 9.30 or 9, I don't know. They'll tell me when I get there. Well, here's town. Not sure if I remember exactly where to go. It's caution, Trans-Canada ends. Technically, it continues on over the water, but the road itself ends and begins again in Newfoundland. Which way, which way, which way? Newfoundland ferry vehicle traffic. Keep to the right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 105, and then keep what? to the left in 530 meters. Okay. So I gotta check in here first, I think. And then I'll check back with you guys. Looks like the boat is still here. Pardon me, the ship. It's a ship. I wonder if they're running late or... I don't know. Where do I check in again? This doesn't look from... Ah, here it is, here it is. Okay. Alright, oh, whoa. Thanks. I want to make sure you slow down. Let's check in and I'll uh, talk to you guys after. Lane 17. We're all checked in and looks like we're not going to board until tomorrow night. Keep to the left on North Sydney Port Axe Ferry. Karen, we're going to be here a while. Glad I got food in the truck. We're going to be here about 24 hours waiting to waiting to board. All these people are in front of me yet. These lanes are so narrow. They could have made them a little bit wider. But that's just me complaining. I mean, I haven't complained much today, so I figure I gotta find something to complain about. Okay, so all this is going to Newfoundland. So I've gotta get up at 6.30 a.m. tomorrow because they're gonna start loading trucks. And I've gotta be ready to move forward if need be. But uh, I won't be on the ship. I think one ship today got canceled because of bad weather. Oh, come on, transmission. Stop being goofy. All right, that's that. Man, they make this tight. I'm going to stay right here. So uh, I went through my screening process to get on a ship. They, uh, they have to screen you, obviously, for all the symptoms of the boogeyman. No boogeyman here. No symptoms, no virus. I checked all the right boxes. Well, they checked them for me, but they asked me all the questions. I gave them all the right answers and they, they were the truth too. So that, that's always the best when the truth is the right answer, right? You always want to tell the truth. Uh, you don't want to get on a ship when you're actually showing symptoms. I mean, that's just rude and selfish. Uh, so everyone here gets screened before we go on the ship. I've got a cabin on board the ship for the eight hour crossing. Uh, and uh, I'll be able to be in there, but I'll have to stay in my cabin. I can't leave my cabin, so I'll have to bring food with me if I'm if I want food. Which I'll probably get hungry, and then uh, <clears throat> all the services on board the ship, like the restaurant, and they even have a bar on the ship, which doesn't make any sense to me. One second, let me send in my paperwork here because it's an eight hour crossing, right? And it's mostly commercial drivers. And when you hit the shore on the other side, you usually take off running, right? Because that's your eight hour break. You can continue driving. So who's gonna go sit in the bar on the ride over there and then get in their truck and drive? That's just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why would they have a bar on an eight hour ferry ride? But hey, whatever, I guess if you're not driving, go, go out and have fun if you're the passenger, why not? You have three hours and 43 minutes of remaining drive time. Nope. 24 hours we're going to be here. 
during the day I can walk into town here and get like food at Tim Hortons and like takeout restaurants and stuff. I can probably go find myself a pizza or something. But uh, yeah, we'll be here a while. Which is unfortunate. Which if I'm here the more, more than 24 hours, I'm going to uh, request a layover. But it is what it is. Right, Diesel? It is what it is. Good boy. So I'm going to end the video here tomorrow. Uh, we're going on a boat. I'll see you then.